Previously, with Peyton. In a minute, you ain't even gonna be waking up to Good Morning Beautiful text. That shit just gonna say GMB. GMB? Now we all we got. These so good, make you wanna speak in tongues. Hey, 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 hey. Shout it up a tweet, tweet, tweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you wanna be? This is Minuit de Me, fragrance du bois. All right, so this is the look. Well, 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 look what we have here. I woke up and man was sleeping like this. I said, ooh, baby, that's why you look 12 and you 18. You a whole vampire. <laughs> you feel me? You Listen. Yeah. Look over here. Yeah, see? Where'd you learn that hair flip from? <laughs> Do it one more time. It's the airport fit for me, baby. Yeah, ma. Yeah. Be sure to get all caught up on the vlogs and let's jump into today's vlog and see what's going on. On the spaceship, now I'm in space cadet. Space cadet. Do it, do it, do it. No, cool, I'm a space cadet. Yeah. On the spaceship, now I'm a space cadet. Big white mansion in my habitat. Aim a lot of stitches like a lady tank. But the rich bitch have a rich set. Smoke a lot of trees, need a weed plant. Did take a lean where the lean at. Sleeping on the G's is a bean bag. Got me going jeans cause I'm cool. Well, it is officially fall. Because that tire pressure. Like, check your tire pressure light came on. It's officially fall. Good morning guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. We are headed to the gym to get it in and I also have a surprise for y'all this week. So, yeah. So yesterday while I was in the airport, I was like, damn, I don't feel sore anymore. And I woke up this morning and I wasn't sore at all in any in anywhere on my body. So I'm like, ah, I gotta go to the gym. But I did go and get on the scale this morning and my wake up weight was 143, y'all. I'm almost at 145 and it's a healthy 145. It's not fat, it's muscle. So it's not going anywhere. It's gonna stay. As long as I stay consistent in the gym, I will be able to maintain this weight because it's muscular. So I had breakfast this morning and uh, I edited a little bit and I was sitting there editing like, <sighs> I wanna go to the gym. So I, was, I just like got my stuff Pack me a little gym bag, and now we headed to the gym to get it in. So when I wake up in the morning, I will be sore. Because I love that sore feeling, y'all. I feel it when I walk. I feel it like, I can, I feel that I'm thicker. I feel it. I feel that I'm fit. Like I wake up in the morning and I'm healthy. I jump out of bed. I do need to go get an IV this week. That would definitely be great as far as like muscle recovery and stuff. Give me some uh, magnesium in. That'll be good. Um, but I feel it when I walk. Like when I walk, like my thighs rub. When I'm taking a bath and I'm just like, you know, washing my legs, I can feel it. My thighs are bigger. It feels so good. It feels so good. Oh, I'm so proud of myself, y'all. And I've really been going hard in the gym. Like, I know y'all see me. I cut because I cut the workouts down. Um, 
I do want y'all to see the work as the workouts that I do but I don't show y'all like all of the reps but just know like if you see one exercise I did it three times reps of 12 or sometimes reps of 10 it depends on it depends on how um, heavy the weight is but I do three rounds reps of 12 so today I'm gonna do because I'm not sore in my legs anymore so I'm gonna do legs glutes and um, shoulders today oh today Tuesday the I think the club the club part of the gym starts at like from 6 to 9 I think I'll be done with my workout by the time this starts but the DJ is is at the at the gym on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 to 9 so it's like a club slash gym and that's when they said it'd be real busy and like you know what I'm saying the fellas be out but I think I'll be done with my workout by the time that that, that even start and I'll be gone because I ain't gonna be like, like like lollygagging around you know I like to get in do my hour hour 15 and then get on back home because I gotta edit today so a video can go up tomorrow but today's gym scent is um, Nishane's Popular Fico. I swear, every time I put this perfume on, it smells different. Like the other day, I wore it uh, on to like on the plane. That was like my airport scent with my little air airport fit, airport fit, and it smelled like Pen Halligan's How Fitty. Today, it smelled like some totally different. It's giving very fall apple pie ish. Um, what's that? What, what is that? Uh, Angel Share. I've never smelled Angel Share, but I heard people say that it smelled like an apple pie. And this today is giving apple pie ish, it's not giving how fatty. So every day I wear it, it smells different, but I am feeling a little nauseous right now. So maybe I put on too much. and all that yes you can say use the one i trusted who would ever think that you would spread like mustard shit got hot you sent feds to my spot took me to court trying to take all i got another intricate lot the bitch said i raped her damn why she want to stick me for my paper my mosquito hole my versace hottie come to find out you was fucking everybody you knew about me the fake id cases in virginia body in dc will always me that's what i get for tricking came out on bail commence to ass kicking Oh baby, that was a real good workout. Stop playing with me. So I was on Instagram today and I saw a post by Earn Your Leisure. I like them. I like their posts. They're very informative and they talk about everything. And they made a post that basically said that hip hop is dying. Do they think that rap will live forever? And I'm like, first of all, Hip hop and rap are not synonymous. They are not the same thing. Hip hop will definitely live on forever because hip hop is classic. You can play hip hop anywhere. You can play hip hop in any club setting and everyone will know the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? And everyone will vibe to the music. Rap 
on the other hand no ma'am no ma'am no sir no t rap is not the same they are definitely not synonymous rap is definitely dying because one a lot of the new rappers in my opinion this is just my opinion a lot of the new rappers i feel like they are trying to cross rap over into pop and rock and roll like for example lil uzi bird he's not hip-hop to me he is like rap and roll like he is definitely like a crossover from to from rap and rock and roll like his music is very very different and uh, okay if you want to make a new genre make a new genre but i definitely feel like rap is dying out because hip-hop is more so talking about the struggle hip-hop is like culture you know what i'm saying rap it's a lot of bragging it's a lot of you know what i'm saying rich nigga shit rich nigga bragging they're not they're not talking about the struggle no more hip-hop is the struggle hip-hop is the culture rap is just rap is just rap first of all where am i what kind of, what kind of neighborhood is this it must be a real good neighborhood that baby walking her daughter in the street in the middle of the street in a stroll so is this like a little cul-de-sac where can't nobody get in and out? There's only one way in and one way out? Hate that. Hate it. Hate it at. Get me out of here. I bet you anything they trick or treat over here. I bet you come I bet you come back over here during look. Look, they got something up in the yard. Oh, that's a nice ass house. It's kinda little. Got a pool? I really like those modern houses. I don't like um, traditional homes. I like the box, big windows. I love those kind of houses. When I get my house, that's the type of house that I want. I want a big ass bathroom, tub in the middle of the floor, set two uh, two story closet, which I'm probably gonna build myself. Because I mean, hey, why not? <coughs> <coughs> Because my closet, it looks professionally done. I mean, it was. It's, it looked just like a big-ass square, a big-ass white square, square. I love those houses with big-ass windows. And I want to live in a, I wanna live in a, um, in a neighborhood where, you know what I'm saying, everybody know each other is gated. So I can have my windows wide open. But I want those, I want those, um... I want those windows where I can see out, but you can't see in. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you, hmm, do I want that? Hmm. I want those windows where the, I could press a button and it turn black on the outside, but I can still see, I can still see out. But when you looking at the window from the outside during a, you know, certain time of night, it, the windows look black. I used to talk to a dude. He was a Pisces. I couldn't talk to him very much longer, baby. As soon as he told me his birthday, I was like, oh nope can do but he had a nice ass house he had a really really nice house i'm talking about he was very proud of his house you could tell you could tell because i mean he couldn't wait to take me over his house and i'm like sir i'm just letting you know um ain't nothing happening he was like no i just want you to like come over watch movies da, da, da. he had like a little theater room whatever his bedroom was very very nice and he had this big ass window and you could like i'm talking about sunrise oh god y'all it was beautiful his house gave very much pisces like we love to have a clean house that smells good candles lit um everything is in order in place we have ocd typically i'm gonna say so for me my ocd is placement ocd i don't like things out of place um, but you know, I think there are a lot of other Pisces, like my cousin, she likes, she has like, um, the, the OCD where like, she gotta be in alphabetical order and color coordinated. I'm not like that. I mean, when you go in my closet, it's co color coordinated now just because I like it that way. It's easier to find things, but I haven't always been like that. But as far as like things being out of place, ooh, child, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. You, you want to see me get upset. Honestly, he just really wasn't my type, and as soon as he told me he was a Pisces, it was a wrap for me. I, I don't, I don't date my kind. I do not, I do not date my kind. I, the Pisces men are something else. Both of my granddaddies was Pisces, and baby, they was something else. 
both of my grandmas was Virgos and both of my granddaddies was Pisces and them men was something else okay something else so no I don't deal with my kind I've actually dated a Pisces before and it was a very spiritual connection oh child that was it was deep it, it was deep let me tell you that, that, and that hole was deep too it took me a while to crawl up out of that hole and once I finally got back out of it child I wasn't jumping back in and when I say jump back in, that's with any Pisces. Pisces deep, child. We deep. I see why niggas can't leave me alone. It's a, it's a, it's a hard hole to crawl out of. It is. I ain't even gonna lie to you. <laughs> it is, bitch. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It's a hard hole to crawl out of. So, good luck. Well, 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 look who we have here. Oh, everyone. He got me all back set up in the, the gym. I, I set it back up just just for me. Just for you. Just for me. All right. So we're going to get to work. So I'm going to foam roll a little bit here just to get you moving. Okay, good. Foam roller? Mm hmm. I, oh, right here. The little guy. Cool. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead, foam roll quads, glutes, legs. I've been staying consistent in the gym. I, I yeah. got on my wake up weight yesterday morning was 143. Okay. So I weighed in yesterday in the morning at 143. I, I don't know what it is this morning, but I've been going to the gym every other day. Good. John Reed, right? Mm hmm. Nice. Yeah, I saw your video on that. How was it? It's nice. Yeah, it's it really is. nice. A lot of equipment. A lot of equipment. And I don't have gym anxiety. Good. So lean a little forward rather than sitting back. I'm forward tilted. I feel this glute stretch and I'm going to stand right up into that every time. I want to lean forward and I'm going to feel that glute a lot more than if I were to stand tall and that's fine. So we have eight on each. We'll start with four body weight and then if we feel really good we'll grab four with weight. <laughs> How's life been? Has you been traveling at all? Yeah, we went to uh, last four, last three. New York. So what's new? How you been? I've been good. Yesterday I did sit up, little core, little cool. back. You like the area out here? Mm -hmm. It's nice. I just had a green onion, green bell pepper, and like beef uh, meal from factory. It was really good. About a about an hour ago, I just finished up editing. The workout today was good. Um, he made use of basically everything that I got, and we're going to be working out once a week because I still go to the gym three times a week and I also want to incorporate a class as well at the gym. I've signed up for Pilates twice and council twice um, but I really want to try out their classes so yeah we're only going to be working out once a week. He gave me a really good deal to work out twice but I feel like because I'm working out at home I feel like it's just it's worth it to do once a week based on the things that I have and just 
um, incorporate a lot of the things that he shows me because he helps me with my form and, and new workouts. When I'm at the gym, try to incorporate those with the machines and stuff that's at the gym. So, okay, I really need to go to Tom Thumb. I need to go to the grocery store because I want to make a smoothie and I like those smoothie kits. Oh, they are so essential when it comes to making a smoothie because like you just pour in a little bit of it, your mixture, your milk, and it's, it's just in put it in the magic bullet and it's like so quick and easy. And I have eaten all of them. I had like two bags and I've been taking protein shakes like every day after workout, like drinking them twice a day and now I'm out. So I need to go to the grocery store, but I don't feel like it right now. But a video is uploading, so I totally could. Right now I could like shoot over to the grocery store really quick. What else do I need in here? Cause if I go, I need to like get a few things. Maybe some iced coffee. So I didn't tell y'all, look at this, look at this. I, st I still ain't, I still ain't. Girl, I ain't touched this doggone umbrella. Look at it. That smells so good. It might be broke. I smell the gas though. There we go. Yeah, I see it. Okay, so the umbrella is not broken. It's just the, the shaft that holds the umbrella up. That part is broken. I need to do some laundry today. Make sure we stay on top of this laundry. Oh, so it don't get uh, full. But um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to just buy this part. That part there it bent and broke so let's go down i was gonna say let's go down to amazon <laughs> my office really is like an amazon ordering uh hub let's go down to the office and see if they just sell and look on amazon and see if they just sell that uh shaft part all right i just gave me a little quick instacart haul it won much I just wanted these blend topia smoothie kits and when I did an Instacart with Tom baby I was gonna say Tom Ford Tom Thumb when I did an Instacart with Tom Thumb last week they was out of these and these are the only ones that I like it has pineapples bananas blueberries coconut and cinnamon with also chia chai seeds flax seeds cacao and maca baby come on these this is the one you need it got maca in it you know what maca do bitch do you know what maca do it's busy maca get you right down there <laughs> maca balances the hormones so if you are dealing with pcos hormonal acne if you have more upper body fat than lower body fat it balances the hormones so your body can Push the fat in the right areas. You know what I'm saying? Where they, where it need to be. Hello? Cause don't nobody need to be walking around looking like, um. So why y'all didn't tell me that it was nine seasons of One Tree Hill? Girl, I am like a kid in a candy store today. I have just been relaxing and binge watching. I'm on season five. Season five is very much deep and dangerous. I thought it stopped after they graduated. I thought that that was the end of One Tree Hill. 
that was season four child i'm on season five and i got four more seasons to go and it's deep and dangerous baby the nanny done tried to kidnap Haley and nathan's nathan son now she trying to kill dan she just hit dan by a car y'all know dan killed his brother and he ended up went, to, went going to jail but he ended up getting out four years later around the time that they graduated college and now they back in one tree here this is my thing if you I don't know, child. I, I've always had big dreams to leave Memphis. Like, growing up in Memphis, Memphis is a small town. I don't think it's as small as One Tree Hill, but it's small, you know what I'm saying? City, but still small. And I always had big dreams to leave. Now, the reason why I ended up going back and moving back is because I was, I was actually running away from someone. They followed me to Memphis and then got me pregnant yeah so um yeah felt like i needed that support system so i stayed until Kyron was old enough to where i feel like i can step out on faith and move and now we are here in dallas texas definitely definitely didn't happen how i planned because the plan was to live in california but i'm actually glad that i um grew out of wanting that because oh my god la it, it, california period is very expensive to live in like a lot of influencers move to california i don't understand it i don't understand they pay state tax too like i don't understand it why would you want to spend more money when you can save more by living somewhere where the cost of living is cheaper but anyway we are watching one tree hill and just doing chores around the house so i'm Folding clothes as well. I'm about to uh, do a, a load of um, dishes. I got some in the dryer just finishing. So we just working around the house. I told y'all that I had to um, let Dallas Maids go. So I just contacted Molly Maids. Um, I had tried a valet maids and they sent a guy and i was super uncomfortable like i feel like everything happened by the grace of god because when he showed up um i wasn't here Karen was here by herself and i just really did not feel comfortable so i was just like yeah we gonna counsel because i i would prefer to have a female housekeeper so i contacted molly maids and they definitely seem like they're gonna be more um, but they haven't reached out. I'm supposed they're supposed to be coming tomorrow. I scheduled an appointment for them to come and clean tomorrow. They haven't reached out to confirm. I don't know, like y'all. I don't know. The whole reason why I got a new house cleaner is because the, the, the my usual cleaner that I have been that has been cleaning my house for three years, because she was cleaning my house when I was still in the apartment that I turned into an Airbnb. She was still, she was cleaning that house. She's been cleaning my, my home since then. And then when I moved over here, I just changed my address in the system. So, and I increased, you know, the amount of the clean. Um, so then she started cleaning over here and I got so used to her. And one day she got sick. They reached out to me and they were like, hey, da 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 is sick. Um, you know do you want to reschedule and i should have just rescheduled but i'm so used to having my house clean every two weeks that i was like okay you can just send somebody else because i'm thinking you know everybody is the same no no they sent this lady that she one she really wasn't that friendly and then um she barely made Karen bed she was supposed to clean the first floor bathroom, like all three bathrooms, office, all of it. She didn't even clean the bathroom, didn't touch the tub, didn't clean the walls. And I'm like, what is this? She was already an hour late. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to reach out to them and ask them, hey, is someone still coming? Because, you know, the window of them supposed to, when they're supposed to show up has passed. Like she was supposed to come in between two and four. I had plans after that. You know what I'm saying? And I try to be at home when someone's cleaning my house because I just have a lot of things. And, you know, I... I ain't got time with nobody, you know what I'm saying? So, I was like, you know, I want to be here. I just feel comfortable being here, right? She comes, she cleans. Um, she was like an hour late. And she had cleaned. And 
my bedroom, my be one, my bedroom was already clean, so she really didn't have to do nothing but like wipe my mirror dresser down, clean the mirrors, you know, the usual, but like really like focus on the bathroom because my bedroom was pretty much clean and already made. I hadn't been in my bedroom for like three days because I had been sleeping on the couch. So yeah, and I'm like, it ain't like ma'am had a lot to do. Like why would she half as clean Kyron's room, right? So from the from there I canceled like my whole like subscription with them. Um and now I'm trying to find a new house cleaner and yeah, sure. But I ain't gonna lie, I really did like Dallas Mays. I I've been using them for three years. I really did like them. And I liked my cleaner. I wish I had her I'm a shit. I'll reach out to her separately and just like pay her on the side. You know what I'm saying? But she probably won't do it. Oh my god. Nathan better hurt himself. I can't watch. No! No! So this crochet hat that I wore in New York, it's it's gonna it's it's gonna fit better. <laughs> it's gonna fit better once I get my braids redone. Wow, is there like no adjustable? Okay, so this crochet hat that I got from JC Penny is Liz Claiborne. It was only get this, it was only thirty dollars. Can you believe that? how I found it because I was watching Gossip Girl and I saw Blair had one on with like a trench coat. It was so cute. It was so freaking cute. Hers was like burgundy and I was like, I need that hat. So, damn, why this one all like bent up? Well, it's great that these don't lose their shape. So anyway, I seen Blair with one and I was like, oh, I want that hat. I want a hat like that because I had immediately came up with a look in my head. And I wanted it in chocolate brown because I wanted to wear it with, wear with my chocolate brown boots. This one is just a small child. Goodness gracious. But yeah, so I wanted to wear it with my chocolate brown boots in my my um taint my camel rich bitch coat because you know that one got the fur but it's like uh not brown fur it's like a it looked like a rabbit fur but anyway i wanted it in brown when i seen they had it in black i got it in black and i was like oh that'll be cute for a little all black moment in new york because i don't know why i like wearing a lot of black in file but i love wearing a lot of black but i do have brown as well and then y'all the hat that i'm wearing today with today's outfit for joe malone because we're i'm getting to meet y'all again um and this is supposed to be a really good turnout because it's more coming than the previous two we opened the rsv up for more people to rsvp now it is an intimate setting so out of the 300 and i think 50 that rsvp'd she'll send you out an email or call you or and urge you to call into the store um you get your gift card that you use to shop with me because it is a shopping meet um you're not paying to meet me um it's a shopping meet so you know you use the gift card to you know shop joe malone and we talk and get to know each other and stuff like that so based on the people that actually call into the store and you know get their gift card that's how many people that were um that are invited so it's all on you you know what i'm saying so it's all on you because it's based on the people that get the email they call into the store and you know get their gift card to shop so yeah it's gonna be a really good turnout i'm super excited and i cannot wait for y'all to see my outfit i'm actually uh waiting on my housekeepers to come and then we'll proceed to start getting ready so i'm about to make me some breakfast i was gonna go to spend coffee um it's a place where like you can eat cereal and you know drink coffee and like listen to old music like vinyl um records and stuff like that but maybe we'll do that tomorrow because i want to get out and take karen to a drive um through zoo 
what what they got it like a safari type of zoo thing where you like drive through and the animals like come up to your car i'm a little bit scared of it though because i think you stay in your own car and oh child please please lord don't let these hmm. Girl, I sat down to use the bathroom and I saw this and I was like, oh, hold on. Let me find another roll. Look at that. They made like a little rolls with my toilet tissue. I'm like, okay then. Y'all see how this wig matted up in the back, but it quickly detangled. One, you got to get this brush from M uh Walgreens. Damn, I'm so used to saying get it from Amazon. I was going to say Amazon. You got to get this brush from Walgreens. It's a Conair. It's great for detangling. Especially your matted ass wigs. Because baby, that's why I don't like sleeping in my wigs. Because like it'll mat up way faster. And it affects the integrity of the hair. Damn, you know what? I actually kind of like this old... Uh, this relaxed wave instead of like a more curly wave. What y'all think I should do? I need to, I think I'm gonna go ahead and curl it. I need to recolor this hair too. Cause the ginger, it's starting to fade. Like I can tell you, I can see, I can see the blonde. So I need to go to the beauty supply store and get some more color. I also got another wig. I bought a goddess braid wig about, I'm going to say three months ago. Because I had planned on wearing it this summer on a trip. I had planned on taking me and Calvin on a trip and I was going to wear it on a trip. Maybe I tried that doggone braid wig on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I ever wear that wig. I do not know. But I bought it from, I want to say I bought it from Ally Pearl. Because y'all know I don't do hair reviews anymore. So, I have been buying hair if I'm not wearing PayPal hair. So, I, I really only wear y'all hair now. But if I'm not wearing a PayPal wig, then I probably bought it. And I bought like, well damn, y'all put too much hair in here? And I bought like three wigs from Ally Pearl. Baby, all three wigs made me unfollow them. All three. I bought one like a ginger curly hair because I really like gin the ginger curly color on me. So I bought one ginger curly hair. This shit look like a clown wig. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Man, this shit look like a clown wig. I'm gonna see if I can um uh, finagle it and and do something with it maybe color it color correct it because it's not giving ginger it's not giving ginger at all at all then i got a goddess braid wig and based on the wigs that i have seen other girls have from their company mine don't look like that Mine don't look like this. So this might be an honest hair review from a buying customer. Um, I'll probably have to show y'all all three based on what I got on the site and what I actually got, what I bought versus what I got. I'll probably end up doing a video or just talking about it in a vlog. I ain't, ain't finna get them no, no clout. Cause baby, this shit made me unfollow them. Then I bought a bob weed. And it's like this ashy blonde, which honestly, I don't even feel like um, I can wear because I feel like just for my skin tone, I should have like a more like 613 or like maybe close to silver, but but not gray. So I can say, put it, say like each wig costs about $200 a piece. But I want to say, I want to say one was more than the other one because the Bob wig won $200. But definitely all three were not worth the money. But I'm going to see because I ain't going to just, you know what I'm saying, throw them away. I'm going to see what I can do with them.
What a stain red. This thing was on the first floor. Yeah, I think I got to stain my dress. And then, that's it. I ain't got too much to do. On the radar, 2023. 6 year old DM, to a <laughs> Some madness and badness. Combination. Yeah. Hey. Grr. On morning side, got no stick in a ride. If I take flicks with the guys, I gotta put emojis over like three faces Cause the feds can't see those eyes People I shouldn't be beside When I was an actor, they would go strap her just to sell food on Bieber's side Plenty reasons why I'm this way, my girl, that's just one reason why I've seen you around that Soto and up, man, baby, you love all some idiot guys Obedient guys, jokers and comedian guys You know I'm like six foot two and the right shoe love, but you love all some medium guys I wanna keep you on the beach till 6 a.m. so you see sunrise Seeing you from the stage in the 100s, these must be eagle eyes Pressing against me, thinking about entry you know you could tell us a decent size You wanna know the real me, girl, so you wanna see deep inside If Chokes has on a Chanel side bag, you don't wanna see him reach inside But we know some demon guys with jealous and evil eyes You know that's how Jesus died, you know that's how Julius Caesar died I bet they were decent guys, I swear they remind me of me sometimes I'm trying to be under your breast like peas and rice You never get treated nice Fool you once, that's fine, but you look dumb if you let them repeat it twice 200 mil on the table, I hope I'm able to get this agreement signed Told you I needed time, but really the truth is I don't believe in time Feel like I've been here over a thousand years, like since the medieval times And I'm still just a cutthroat king, even though this is recent times A man like that that we're beefing with, but we don't do grieving time Fuck teasing time, if I come inside you it's breathing time so much for idols, KMT with a high roll Knew that I made it when I had drivers Holding my last name up and arrivals Sense my knee vaccine when he see how this bitch are going viral If leaders dead and the masters dead with grains in there like silos The morning rain clouds up my window, I swear I feel like Dido J-A-U-M, how looks when man put you in a jam like typos Negotiation asking for 20% of the company, that's my final Realistic, as shit my M15 like I'm going through Tottenham High Road If it's beef, I get that shape of bread and grease like I'm making gyros Or I'm making gyros so much for all these heroes. The numbers are good with me as long as it's comma to zero, 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 zero. Pass me a glass of vino. If a girl try to take my Rolex, we are all ready for the Joe Malone event. This is the look for the night. What are we wearing? So the hat is from Revolve. I'll have it linked in the description box. I don't know the name, but I got it from Revolve. The dress is House of CV, Dior saddlebag, and to match the bag, we are wearing our new um, Steve Madden mules. So, so cute. So, we're giving a Joe Malone minimal aesthetic for the event. Because, you know, Joe Malone is like all cream and black. So, this is the look for tonight. And for since I comboed, I have been loving this. This is like become my fave now. So I'm wearing the Shanae's Popular Fico with Le Labo's Another 13. And I will also have links what I'm wearing because I have on the All Hours YSL foundation as well as um, this is an old color rain lip that I've had for years and then to like top it off and give me that nude lip I got the cashmere London cosmetics and this is Harlem so this is like a really pigmented nude lip gloss and I usually like just dab it in the middle of my lip do like that and it gives like a nice just ombre lip so I put the colored rain all over my lip Cause I was gonna do like an all dark lip for fall and then I was like, no, let's ombre it out a little bit because it was kind of looking a little harsh. So yeah, that's the look. So we're not gonna have on the head all night, but I am bringing the head because it's part of the look.
literally just in time is i'm about to leave how coincidental and i already know who it's from i hope you have an amazing event i'm so proud of you love ray anthony i love you ray thank you my favorite flowers from 1-800 flowers thank you friend thank you so much i really appreciate it they are so beautiful and look they match me when i say y'all we are so in sync we are like this we are so in sync like how did you know how did you know that this is gonna be the aesthetic today all right we are all ready to go i got my touch up lip gloss perfume yeah Steve man shoes, baby, you can stand up in these for a good three to four hours before your feet start really, really hurting. And then, even then, they won't be really, really hurting. Like, you can still walk out and you won't look like a kangaroo walking to the car after the club. So, tonight was so wonderful. We had an amazing turnout. Way more people from first in the last time. Way more way more like i looked up and i was like oh my god that line long as fuck like we had a line the first time but not the second time this line was like wrapped around the corner it was a lot of people it was a lot of people we had a really really good turnout and thank y'all so much for coming out um so many people shared how i've helped them through illnesses just um 
sharing my life and like laughing through a lot of stuff because y'all know I'm super silly. I laughed with some of y'all. I cried with some of y'all. Like, oh, so many beautiful girls. So many beautiful people. Y'all are absolutely amazing. I'm hoping Amir got some good pictures. Anthony didn't take uh, videos and do my pictures. Uh, I hired his friend this time. Um, just because it was last minute and I hadn't like been reaching out to Anthony. I, I only asked him one time. And he was like he had to check his schedule, honey. I said, okay, fancy. So uh, I just reached out to his friend because uh, that's actually how I met Anthony. No, you know what? I didn't meet him that way. I met Anthony organically. Like me and Anthony met at the club. And um, But I also met Amir at the club too. Amir took a picture of me, y'all. I'm going to insert it right here. To this day, that's still my favorite fucking picture. Because I'm like, first of all, how the fuck did you make my jawline look like that? Like, what did you do to this picture? I'm looking at it like he must have edited this. Ain't no way that's me. And he was like, no, this is you. Like, he sent me the raw picture. And I'm like, I'm like, I wish I still looked like that. Like, that was like, that was 2020, like, in the height of COVID. Baby, my jawline was snatched. But this hat, though, we're definitely going to have to break this out for Fashion Week next year because we're going. It is very evident that I need to be a part of the week, okay? Now we're about to do what I hate, and that is remove my makeup. I might have spoke too soon on them Steve Men's, baby. They was very comfortable. I ain't gonna lie, but I think I, I think I see a little blister on one of my toes, on my ring finger toe. You know, the toe next to the pinky. <sighs> might be a pre-corn, child. Let me find my corn removers and put one on there, because listen, I ain't got time for it. And even though it's fall and we ain't in sample season, I still ain't got time for it. So you gotta catch this shit early. You can't just let it sit on your toe and get hard. Catch it while it's soft. By the way, this is benzoyl peroxide on my face, just in case anyone cared. So we just gonna dab this. See, when you use this, it's like very potent salicylic acid that make your skin peel. But you're supposed to put a little patch that has like an insert on your toe first to keep the fluid from like moving around and I ain't got that. Well, all I gotta say is get you one of them little cushions. If you get them, if you wear those um, Steve Madden mules, okay, you got, and now they are comfortable. You can't stand in them for a long time, but that's not to say that you won't have a little PTSD afterwards. You will. Maybe blisters, maybe maybe corns. So I would say get you some of them little uh, toe inserts, corn protectors, toe protectors, so you won't get corns when you wear those. Because if your feet rub and slide, you probably like get a blister or a corn. But other than that, I love the look of the shoe. I love the uh, comfort. Um, they look very expensive. Top tier. Hey, pretty girl. Hey. You slept on top of the covers. Yeah. Because I was hot. Everybody was asking about you yesterday. They was like, where is Karen? Where is Karen? I said, Karen said, this grown folks busy. She want to stay in the child's place. Oh, when you're 
cold I'll be there Hold you tight, baby Good morning, y'all The Joe Malone event last night was absolutely amazing Oh my God, y'all showed up and showed out. Y'all put that shit on. Y'all came in smelling good. I smelled a lot of Kama Sutra in the building. Y'all know Beyonce wear Kama Sutra. Hi! T.S. Madison just dropped that tea. <laughs> so, you know, baby, now when they smell you, you can Bitch, I smell like Beyonce. So many of you gifted me gifts, some good gifts too. One in particular, one of my good sis, I love how y'all listen and a lot of times when I'm talking I'm just I just be talking y'all um, but I had actually intended on finding some lost cherry oil to make a lost cherry candle baby why one of my PayPal's made me a candle and it projects it smells so good in my living room y'all so the inside is pink um, she said it came red the red the oil was red I really don't mind Damn, it smell good. I really don't mind um, the candle wax being pink or red. It's the, um, it's just the outside. You know, Tom Cherry lost for it. Damn, I said Tom Cherry lost for it. What? I blame COVID. Tom Ford lost Cherry. Um, the, the outside, the candle is red. So, yeah, so look at that. I'm about to light this one too. God, this smells so good. And then the wicks are wooden, which I love. So it's wooden wicks. Y'all probably can't even see it. It's wooden wicks though. And um, the other one is white. And she sent me covers for each. So the, the other one that I have lit, this is the pattern. And it comes with lids. I love that. And she sent me two more to my P.O. box, which I cannot wait. Y'all, so good. So good. Then, one of my good sisters from Oklahoma, baby, she brought me some, uh... Oh, these cute. Oh, baby, I smell this. Oh, I smell this. This is loud. She bought me some cones, and you know what I generally put in cones? She brought some of that too. You know what I'm saying, baby? I love y'all, okay? Oh, this is cute. Some like some crosses and stuff. Good friends provide each other with comfort, support, and a feeling of well-being. So do good bras, but hey. Well, so do good bras, but they never give the excellent advice that you do. I hope this is a start of a new friendship, but if not, I love being a PayPal. I hope you and your baby enjoy y'all gifts from one Southern girl to another Southern queen, Deontay McMillan. Absolutely. Absolutely, Deontay. Can I call you Diddy? Friend, can I call you Diddy? Friend? Because, yeah. And I'm going to light that up when I get home. I'm getting ready to go to the gym and I don't want to be too lifted. Uh, lifting <laughs> and then we got one uh, a card from Alicia it says just want to say thank you oh wow we're gonna read this one off camera then of course you know every every shop and meet I get gifted with something from Joe Malone they actually allowed me to pick what I wanted this time the first two times um, I was gifted what they felt that I would like, but this time may let me pick what I wanted. And don't y'all just love the packaging of Joe Malone? It's um, individually wrapped with love each time. So this time I got the lime and basil, the lime basil and mandarin scented candle. This is probably gonna go in the office or my bedroom, probably my bedroom. And I also got the oil diffuser. Y'all, this smells so damn good. Oh, Lord. Yeah, this is going to go in my bedroom. This is going to go in my bedroom. Up there with the with the Tom Forge. Lost cherry. Um, but it's just, it's too good. It's, it's too sexy. It's too sexy to, to be somewhere that I'm not going to smell it. And then I got, of course, I had to get this. This is Orange Bitters. This is a limited edition. Only available in the holidays, y'all. 
This smells so freaking good. Oh. Like it smells like an orange. It's so good. And this is going to be perfect to layer with mimosa and cardamom, mirantanka, vetiver and golden vanilla for sure. But other fragrances like oh you're gonna be this old is good i could when she asked me what i wanted i said orange bitters i said it so fast i said orange bitters because you know they also came out uh, brought ginger biscuit back which smells just like a ginger snap cookie not my vibe i'm not into gourmand and smelling edible i no 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 i mean you can eat me but i don't want to like smell edible thank you so much to joe malone for always partnering with me on the shopping meets this was our third one this was the best one this was the the packed out one like the line was wrapped around the corner i met so many of y'all like we cried together baby we ran out of kleenex we ran out of kleenex so many of y'all shared with me that i helped i met one lady she was so sweet she had just been in a car accident y'all and she said she watched my videos and that helped her get through all of the pain and just recovery and she looked so good when she showed me pictures like i almost bust out in tears because oh my god like and for her to say that my videos helped her heal like <sighs> yeah my videos helped me heal like i i watch my videos over and over again like when i'm editing my videos i be in tears laughing in tears laughing and i never knew i mean i knew i was funny because i feel like a lot of pisces are funny we just naturally funny but i never knew that i could be this entertaining and then just being able to edit it in the way that i edit it um which keeps you watching keeps you entertained like i understand that it's a gift and i'm so so thankful and grateful for god giving me this gift because if i have the gift of healing baby that is the gift of all gifts okay that is the gift of all gifts and i absolutely love y'all I, I met another lady she said um my videos helped bring her and her aunt closer because they would watch them together while her aunt was going through her illness um her illness is completely healed now she's better she girl me and her started crying like it was just it was just really amazing to meet all of y'all beautiful women i'm so glad that we can all come together and and laugh and talk about my old <laughs> my crazy life <laughs> Um, and I appreciate y'all so much. I really do. I really do. I never take for granted the fact that, you know, y'all can be on YouTube watching anybody and y'all consistently watch me. I am so grateful for that. I really am. I really do appreciate y'all. I really do. And I want y'all to know that I love y'all and I'm wishing abundance on us all because i feel like if we are all in the same place we can all relate to one another and love one another you know what i'm saying it's a lot of hate in the world but you can choose peace you can choose love and i love that y'all choose love i love that i i have an audience that is just all about positivity and things like that and i love that y'all got my back man y'all got my back y'all be showing up for me i know that i see that and i appreciate that wholeheartedly thank you so so much much. And look, I ain't cried this time. Cause y'all know when I got my uh my hundred thousand plaid child, I cried. Ooh, I cried like I was winning a Grammy. They gonna think I won a Grammy. This smells so damn good, y'all. It's so good. Y'all gotta go smell orange bitters. Go to Joe Malone and smell orange bitters. I'm telling you, you can only get it in the holiday season. I don't know why. I don't know why. Cause it gives me. It gives me summer when you first spray it. It's crazy. When you first spray it, it smells like when you first peel an orange and you know how it like spritz out and it's, it's very like fresh and aromatic, right? But then on the dry down, on the dry down, it gives like a sweet, fall, sexy, sultry scent. Not gourmand, but it turns into like a sweet, a like the orange the orange kind of fades so the orange is more like a top note and then god what is that i gotta look up the notes because i feel like i smell a little vanilla but it's not gourmand though it's not gourmand but it it definitely changes on the dry down how it smells when you first spray it that's not how it smells on the skin after it dries down wow that is good 
wow that is really good this this shouldn't be limited edition okay so i have to go to the gym today because i am still sore oh what why am i so sore i think i'm sore from like them maybe them good mornings and I don't know, but I'm sore. These thighs are sore. But we're going to the gym today and getting it in. I do feel like I might need to go easy on my arms so much. Because, listen, in them pictures. Bitch. Do you see? Listen, look. Do, do you see that? Girl, they was taking pictures of me last night. I said, damn. I looked at my arm. I said, oh, baby, I probably need to slow down. I probably need to slow down because I said I want I ain't want to look I ain't want to look rough now I ain't want to look but you know what even when I'm <laughs> even when I'm walking around the house I feel like I'm walking around the house like this like I feel like I got that Debo wall hey cool but I'm going to the gym today regardless what what and what about it and what about it I'm going Cause one thing for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to be rich to be my girl. You don't have to be cool to rule my world. Oh, I, I wanted to speak on something that may have been obvious to y'all, um, but I just have never said anything about it. But I will admit that it does annoy me and it's nothing that I can do about it. If y'all heard that little rattling, like when I'm moving, you don't hear it when the camera is stable. But you might hear it while I'm in the car or while I'm walking around. If y'all heard that little rattling, baby, I've been trying to figure it out. I really have. I have been trying to figure it out for the life of me. I cannot understand why it's doing that. Um, I think it might be the uh, quick release. And, you know, it's a sacrifice that I got to make because... I need to be able to quickly take my camera off the tripod, put it on the, the, the tripod for the car. You know what I'm saying? I have to be able to quickly do it. Otherwise, I would have to unscrew the camera off each and every time. And I think that's what it is. I think it's the quick release. Maybe I need to invest in another one, a different one, because I bought like four of these. Um, I think that that may be what it is. But if y'all hear it, if it annoys you, I apologize. The thing is, I only hear it when I'm editing. You know what I'm saying? I don't hear it when I'm like just playing back on my camera. I can only hear it when I'm editing. So, it, you know, it's a tedious process to try to figure out if, if it's the quick release. I think that's what it is. I, I do think that's what it is, though. Because um, there's like a little screw on the inside of the quick release that um, it's not stable. So it kind of like dangles. So I think that's what it is. But like I said, I apologize, y'all. I know it might be annoying. Um, I'm gonna try to figure out something. Have you noticed my weight gain was muscle gain? I was gonna say, I don't see any weight. Like, um, I thought you were mean and like, I'm like, there's no fat on you. No, I was like, no. Are you gaining muscle? Yes, girl, yeah. look, at my, look at my arms. All right, girl, you're at 100. OMG. Good. That's awesome. You yeah. made it to a hundred, y'all. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, I wonder what this feel like on the booty. I definitely don't need it on the booty though. Alright, we are done. So when do you take the after pictures? So after pictures, I would say anywhere from like the six to eight week mark. Okay. Um, full results, sometimes people like to wait 12, but with you, I feel like six to eight is going to be good. Okay. Because mm -hmm. you're already working out and everything too. I feel like I can already tell a difference with your results, so I'm excited to see in the next couple of weeks what it, what it looks like. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, well. I guess I'll be back to get the pharma. 
Yes, yeah, whenever you're ready. Okay. Let's do that. All right, you know where I'm at. These coffee cakes. Man, it's so good. This honey latte is strong as hell today. I will say that the the level 100 stings more, like it stains. It's very doable though. Honestly, I feel like 85 was more intense than 100. 100 was intense, but it just stung. It's kind of indescribable, but if you know what anything that feels like when you get stung, that's what it feels like. But I only felt the stinging in the top portion of here. And then she said, I already see results, but you don't see your final results until like six to 12 weeks. But I'll show y'all the difference. Cause it's been six weeks since I started get it every week I will show you how much of a difference my um, stomach looks and my core area looks then when I first started that first week it looks like drastically different one the skin is tighter two and I can do sit-ups my core is very strong I can do sit-ups like and I'm talking about a lot of sit-ups to the point where when I wake up in the morning, I'm not sore, like at all. My core isn't sore at all. I've never, that's a nice truck. I've never been able to do sit-ups and like not feel it the next day. I feel absolutely nothing when I do sit-ups now. It don't hurt at all. I probably could do 100 sit-ups in one day. You know what I realized when I drink coffee before a workout, it works a lot like um, pre-workout because of the caffeine. And that was a strong ass coffee. Let me tell, let me talk about it. That was a real strong coffee. So, you know, I might get it in today. I might get it in. Look at that gun. Stop playing with me. But listen, so y'all i forgot to tell y'all that like about two weeks ago a dude a little light-skinned dude cute slid in my dms i'm like oh why are you here because i'm on thirst trap so how 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 did you get here how did you get here because a lot of niggas be pocket watching you gotta watch it. you gotta watch it because we are living in a finesse era you know we got a lot of errors ourselves we got soft feminine um rich girl we got a lot of errors but the niggas Baby, they ain't got but one, and it's finesse. They are living in the finesse era, so y'all gotta be careful because niggas is pocket watching. They see you going on them trips, sis. They see you taking yourself out to dinner. You know you ain't taking pictures of the receipt, but they know. They, they can put it together. You think they ain't watching? Baby, they watching. Be careful. I'm telling y'all be safe. He was like, man, I'm trying to be like you when I grow up. Um, He, he basically said, like, how you getting it or some shit like that. And, that sounded about a, as worse as being called big money by a nigga. I hate that. So I was like, who is this? You know what I'm saying? So I had to go to his page. Why I used to talk to him? And I forgot all about it. In that moment, I was so grateful. I said, come on, memory loss. Because I cannot wait to forget about y'all little friend. Ooh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I am banking on it. I absolutely love that I be forgetting about people. Like, I don't realize that I used to talk to somebody until I really... No, no, what you looking at? With that skunk striking your head. It was actually kind of cute. It's giving, it's giving Wiz Khalifa circa, um... You know, on my level, on my level, black and yellow, but with a, a, a gray instead of a blonde. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait till I forget about sir. I'm, I may never forget about him because if you traumatize me, I don't forget you. Like, I remember all of my bullies from junior high. I remember their first name, last name, how they look. Then, they probably would try. Because, listen, karma has no expiration date when it comes to me. Okay? If, if they ain't got you yet, 
they gonna get you but yeah i gave him a little a couple of pointers i, don't, I really don't know what he was expecting from that conversation because i felt like it was a very weird conversation honestly like why are you asking me about my coins why are you asking me how am i getting it my formula might not work for you the the best tip that i can give you is get close to god build a relationship with god make you a vision pool board set some goals for yourself and then go after those goals if you write it down you can't let yourself down once you write it down you gotta execute and you can't let yourself down because if you don't do it ain't nobody letting you down but you all right it's 322 i'll see y'all in an hour we're leaving y'all in the car see you in a little bit <sighs> do i got a water bottle okay there we go all right we all done so what i did today was core what are these triceps i did a little bit of triceps wow like i'm not even flexing and look at my gun i'm not even flexing that's a flex that's not oh my lord i might need to slow down i'm, I'm starting to look like angela bassett for real love what you doing? Where you at? Oh, you complain. Don't say that. Sipping wine in a row. I look too good to be alone. My house clean. Pope on. Just say. Yeah. We should be dancing, romancing in the east wing, in the west wing. This man's in what's happening. I ain't playing no games. Every word that I say is coming straight from the heart. If you try not lend these arms, I'ma leave the door open. Yeah, I'ma leave the door open. Coming straight from the heart 